Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Russ Can Fly. It's Wings and Wheels. Let's go! Okay, so this is the second time I've been to Wings and Wheels, and you know that I've done my flight training here at Wings Field. One of my favorite things that happens at this airfield is an event called Wings and Wheels. And it's one of those things where it is such an amazing event. The thing that I love about it the most is that the proceeds that you know you spend to come to this event are used for something called Angel Flight East. Angel Flight East is a phenomenal organization. All of us pilots should be trying to get ourselves involved with it. It is an amazing organization. Basically what it does is it allows for people who may not be able to afford flights um, from a specific area to another specific area where they're gonna get hospital care. Um, those flights are basically paid for by Angel Flight East. We, the pilots, are the ones that do the flying for the, you know, for the need for the travel. So it's amazing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on over here, pay my fee, go on in, check out some cars, check out some airplanes, all that kind of stuff. You know, this is what I love to do the most. Yeah, the cars are nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm here to look at airplanes. All right, let's get in here and let's make it happen. And I will say, if you do come to Wills and Wings, the best thing to do is if you have a motorcycle, ride it. Cause it's easier to get in the parking lot if you come. All right, let's get over here and let's get to it. Okay, so I just paid my fee to come on in. And the thing about it is, it's awesome. It's only $10. The thing that is like really cool is that not only do they have a lot of different like vans and, and planes and cars and stuff like that, they also have a lot of things that involves like, you know, you can do some flying, you can do some stuff like that. It's awesome. So this is definitely one of those events that you definitely want to come check out. It's the first Saturday, I mean the second Saturday of September. So you definitely want to come check this out. It is awesome. So you guys remember so many times I've come out here and I've come to flight training and it is just amazing. But now I get to come out here and check out airplanes. I get to check out cars. So let's go around and like just check out some of the stuff that's here. And so one of the things I have to do is I have to do this voiceover because there was a live band playing at the event and I didn't want to get a copyright strike. So instead of explaining to you in real time about this beautiful Stearman airplane, um, I have to do this voiceover. But as you can see, man, what a amazing airplane. And it's a shame, but the, 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 this video doesn't do it justice in terms of the size. I mean, look at these gentlemen standing here. They are full size adults and you can see like from the wings to you know how the, the airplane is angled um to where the reciprocating engine the prop uh, i mean it is just such a huge but amazing amazingly beautiful airplane for sure love to fly in this thing and then there was another little brother next to it um, and you know, just as beautiful. The thing that really trips me out about these biplanes are the wooden props. Um, of course, there's a lot of layers to it and all that kind of stuff, but look at how beautiful that is. I mean, that prop is like a work of art and that reciprocating engine is just crazy. I had to Google to see how those engines actually operate, but two of the most spectacular planes at the show for sure all right so in addition to like the cars and the airplanes and stuff there's several different organizations that are represented here um aero club of pennsylvania is one of them of course there's flight gateway of course they're here because this is their training field but these are some of the other things that you get to see when you're here again all of this stuff you get to see for ten dollars it's amazing and like i said it goes to a worthy cause so you definitely should be here all right so what we're going to do we're going to go on down here a cost fly gateway you know these are some of the pilots that i flew with when i trained here we're going to go down the other thing that they do is they provide airplane rides that's right you might have to stand in a little bit of a line but it's definitely worth it you get to come in and take free airplane ride I highly recommend that you do that because that might be the beginning of a flight career. All right, let's go. And of course we got Eagle Swoop. 
All right, so here's the power of YouTube and pilots and Russ can fly. This is my good friend, brother Rich. He is one of my great supporters on my Russ can fly journey. I really appreciate it. And the great thing is I get to meet him live and in person. Yes, live. <laughs> yes, you can't be Russ. <laughs> live in person. That's right, that's right. Now, Rich, do you fly as well? No, I don't fly. I don't have a license. Okay, but, okay. Uh, oh. I've been using a flight simulator since about 98, 99. Uh, okay. At home software. Okay. And uh, that's, me, that's given me a good time to fill. That's good. That's yeah. good. Have you ever thought about getting your license by any oh, chance? Oh, yes. When I was in the service, <laughs> okay. um, I was thinking about going to a, uh, a school, a college in uh, Florida. Okay. And um, for uh, aviation training, but... When I got out of service, things didn't pan out. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, I uh, still kept the interest in it and loved taking pictures and uh, posted them on a uh, website. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. Well, you know, so I just wanted you guys to meet Rich, and, you know, we're going to keep encouraging him to maybe even just, you know, take the plunge because I submit that you are never too old to start an aviation journey. You're not. So, take Russ's <laughs> advice. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And you can fly. Absolutely. Okay, so as you can see behind me, this is Fly Gateway. This is where I took my flight lessons. And these people are awesome. Now, I've always been a pain in their behinds ever since I got my license here because I feel like I have access to them whenever I want, wherever I am. Uh, but I will say that awesome, awesome flight school highly professional um but the thing that i loved about being here not only because it was convenient and close to my house a lot of these folks basically understood that there's different levels of people who are coming into this game not everybody's coming in as a 20 something not of us want to go to the airlines some of us just have this crazy dream that we just want to go and fly an airplane and you saw in that last video one of the best things that ever happened is i came here sweating freaked out taking me so long frustrated but just two weeks ago i flew my wife from northeast philly to martha's vineyard we had a lunch date we flew back i mean come on how awesome is that you know what i'm saying so that's why you know you definitely want to come check out if you're in anywhere in the area they have um different different spots around but fly gateway is an awesome awesome flight school as you can see you can follow them at fly gateway um, you can come to Wings Field. They fly a lot of Pipers. Great stuff, great people. They're awesome. Come check them out. Okay, so right in this area, this is the ride waiting area. And this is where if you come take a flight, you come to the event, you will come and wait here and you'll get picked up in one of these aircraft. They have several people that are working the ramp. And so they basically have all the airplanes come back. They load everybody up and then they come on back and do the flight. Now, I believe what they do is they may fly out you in a pattern, but you'll get a real good sense of what the area looks like in terms of flying, taking off from Wingsfield and seeing the Philadelphia area. On a day like today, it may be a little bit more difficult just because of the, the ceilings are a little low, but then, you know, it's still not bad, but this is a definite thing that you have to do if you come to Wings and Wheels because this just gives you an opportunity to get into a small general aviation aircraft experience it for yourself and i know i keep repeating myself but it it, it, it it's it, it's something that should be repeated this could be something that starts an aviation career and i'm telling you aviation careers are awesome okay so even though you know i'm a pilot and you know it's both wings and wheels i gotta check out some of the wheels so here's some of the cars that they have out here there's always a couple like mgs that are like really cool trans ams and stuff um and so you know i'd be remiss if i didn't come and at least you know show some of the some of the cars that are out on the field and you know it's definitely awesome i mean that's the thing it you know it hits both things for me it hits both cars and airplanes all right so out of all the airplanes here this bonanza is amazing i definitely had to come check it out so this is going to be my premier plane that i'm going to premiere today as you can see this is just an awesome awesome aircraft and so check this out 
So that's what it looks like. Three blade prop, beach, so beach craft, bonanza, three blade prop, gorgeous. I mean, this is such a beautiful airplane. Nice sturdy looking wing, gorgeous avionics. Oh man, look at that. It's got a throw over yoke. That's the only thing that kind of scares me about these things. So, but it's nice. Sixth place. And yeah, that is just such an awesome aircraft. So this Bonanza and I guess the Hyper Cherokee 6 remind me of one another. I don't know if they have like the same engine size because I know the Piper Cherokee 6 has a 300 horsepower engine. Might have the same thing as well. So, but just an amazing, amazing machine. And here we have a light sport, but this actually is a light sport. Not exactly sure what this aircraft is. If you know, definitely leave a comment down below. But it looks like it has uh, 15 gallons mo gas. So you don't have to use uh, 100 low lead. You can see how, how small that wing is as compared to some of the other aircraft. But that's the thing, the beauty of like a light sport, you know, they are pretty, definitely pretty nice. Definitely like a, definitely a different size to it. And uh, definitely a smaller aircraft, but phenomenal avionics, all glass panel inside there. So very nice, very small, probably like little Sammy's little cousin. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it. Wings and Wheels 2023 in the books. And like I said, I love this event. I love that it pulls people from the different parts of the community. They all come out around some of the favorite hobbies of automobiles and airplanes. And as you can see, just an amazing, amazing event. So, like I said, they have this event every second Saturday of September. So, make it a point to come on out. If you want to get an airline, an airplane ride, definitely have that available as well. All right, so with that, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to get myself some food because I saw some wings over there. Definitely want to check those out. So, anyway... Russ kid, Russ can fly, I'm out. Peace.